Hello, Boys and Girls Club. Uh, it's Roger, and today I got a cardboard crafts project for you guys. Um, we're going to be making uh, chompers out of cardboard. You're going to look little snakes. We're going to color them up, and we're going uh, to make them. All right, so uh, I'm going to show you guys exactly what you're going to need. It's going to be super easy, and uh, let's get started. To get started, we're going to need a piece of cardboard. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You are going to need some paper clips, something to color with, and finally something to measure with. So to get started, we're going to take our cardboard and we are going to measure out exactly what we need to do. So we're going to grab our ruler or a measuring tape and uh, we're going to mark it out. So this is up to you partially because it's all about how big you want your, your snake to be, right? Uh, I'm going to do it every inch and a half, right? So one inch, inch and a half. So one, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, right? Just like that. And I'm gonna mark it along the way. And once I do that, I'll, uh, I'll get back. So uh, I just marked off all the little uh, inch and a half spots. So I got a little X for every spot. You can see a little made a mistake. That's, that's okay, it's not a problem. Just make sure that you correct it. Um, and then now we gotta figure out how long we want it to be. So I'm gonna do about four inches uh, you can do however much you want, but uh, we want it to be a rectangle, that's for sure. All right, so I'll show you guys when we're done with that. All right, so um, as you can see, I took a pencil and I lined out um, each one. So I believe from the bottom to the top, it's five and a half inches. I know I said four and a half, but just do whatever you think is right. These look about the right size though. Um, and then I just took a pencil and I made sure to line them all out, right? And you want to make sure they look pretty even, pretty soon, like a... Uh, pretty similar uh, and now we're gonna get our scissors and we're gonna start cutting them out so with our scissors we want to take our time and make sure that we cut it out really evenly uh, so there isn't any um, we want them to be as similar and alike as possible so the least amount of error we can have is gonna be better for us all right all right so I cut off the extra up the bottom this might be a good time to start coloring but you don't want to color too much so you can't see your line so that depends on how you feel um, if you think it's a good time to color, now it is. Um, otherwise, you're going to color each of them individually, but you just want to get it all done at once. Now it's the right time. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so now that you colored it, we want to make sure that we're cutting it out evenly on each of the lines that we made. So let's do that, and then we're going to get started putting it all together. All right, they're all cut out. They're all even. doesn't have to be perfect, but you know we want to do our best to get them right. And uh, now we're going to move on to the paper clips. Uh, we got all our little pieces, and uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take two of them, line them up so they're nice and even. We're going to get a little push pin, and we're going to find the center. So if you made them five and a half, your center is going to be two, uh, 2.75 inches, which is going to be just a little bit smaller than three. We're going to want to mark that down to the best we can. If it's a little off, it's a little off. It's not a big deal. But we want to get the closest to center as we can. We're going to take a little push pin, push it in the middle between both of them. Should just about go through. And with the push pin, it should be able to, to move like that perfectly. That's when we take a paper clip. We bend it, make a little L, just like that. See, it's a little L. We're going to stick it through. Stick it through the hole we made. Push it right on through, you know. You might have to use a little bit of force, but it should be okay. Um, do the same on the other one, just like that. And we want to try really hard not to break up the cardboard, right? And see how we made a little lip. We're gonna feed that part through, and then we're gonna bend, bend the paper clip like that, and they should move just like that. So. We want to do this for as many of these as we have. We want to make two of each. So we got uh, all the ones we want made. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing that we did here. We're going to do it on all of the little cross sections, right? So thumbtack, uh, staple, or um, paper clip. Uh, so we made all the ones we have. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put a push pin there and we're going to put in another paper clip. And we're just going to keep doing that until uh, every overlapping piece 
has a has a paperclip next to it or in it. All right, so I got it all connected, and look at that. See how it gets longer. Perfect. So the last thing we want to do um, is take that leftover piece of cardboard, and we're gonna just make a face out of it. So that's all we're gonna do. Uh, I'll uh, I'll catch up on you on that. Be creative with it. Do whatever you want. All right. I'm gonna got it all glued together. And look at that. Looks like it's eating my face. Wait. Ah, sorry. Uh, um, anyway, it's all done. Hope it was fun. It's pretty easy. Um, one thing I want to say though is look, this was my first attempt. Right? Here's my second attempt. Right? Practice makes perfect. Do the best you can. If it doesn't turn out right the first time, always give it another shot. All right, hope you guys have a good day.